Put a smile on your face when you're moving from place to place. place. Good morning, good morning, morning. Good morning, morning and morning. welcome back to the Tobago Updates Youth Morning Show. Now, viewers, I know you all are so accustomed to the Luke train, but for this segment, I will be turning into Brother Luke. And, you know, jazz is in the air, and this year, the, spe the festival has a very special edition, that is the Gospel Night. And joining us this morning, we have a music minister, a worship leader, and an award-winning gospel artist, Mr. Mark Isaac. Mr. Isaac, good morning. How are you doing this morning? Good morning, good morning, good morning, Tobago. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for having me on. It's an honor to be on with you guys this morning. Okay, Mr. Isaac. Now, reading your bio, I would have noticed that you have so many accolades attached to your name. So what would have been your motivation to get into gospel music? Um, well, to be honest, I got into music on a whole... Um, in a very, very, very funny way. I was actually giving trouble in primary school back in those days, a long, long time ago. And for punishment, the teacher sent me to the school choir. And then I got sent to the Love Movement uh, Children's Choir. And from there, you know, they kind of realized that I had this talent. And I've been a church boy all my life. Shout out to all the church people, all the church boys and church girls, you know, out there. And I uh, started singing in Sunday school. And it just went from strength to strength. Uh, from there and that was my beginning into gospel music okay mr isa that's such an interesting story though it's probably similar to that one we would have seen on sister act when those children were given trouble and then they got all of them into the <laughs> choir and I would have yeah them yeah closer. yeah <laughs> to gospel yeah. music and mr isaac you will be joining us for the jazz festival um what are your thoughts on that well, I, I think it's such a wonderful, wonderful experience. And, you know, I must say thank you to those responsible for adding a gospel night to the Tobago Jazz Festival. And we all know that the Tobago Jazz Festival is one of the best jazz festivals in the world. And we make no apology for saying that. Uh, so it's just an honor and really a beautiful experience to come and share gospel with the jazz festival family and i'm super excited uh, to be a part of all that is happening tomorrow night uh, we were in rehearsal last night and um you know it's, it's just a, a real nice buzz around the gospel community being able to represent and of course share the word of god and share jesus through our music with the jazz festival community so it's a wonderful experience all right, Mr. Isaac. And I loved how you would have commended the addition of the Gospel Night because um, when it was first announced, I know people would have questioned, you know, how does a Gospel Night tie into jazz? But when you look at music and the musical history, especially when it comes to singing, a lot of our greatest R&B singers and jazz singers, they all started off as Gospel singers. And it brings me to yes. question, for you as a Gospel artist, how has Gospel music and Gospel singing, you know, aided your, your vocal abilities? Well, truthfully, um, growing up in church, we sing hymns. And for everyone that sing hymns, hymns are some of the more intricate type music that you would hear, right? So when your vocals get accustomed, you know, reading the hymnals, because the hymnals is actually a musical chart, right? So you get accustomed seeing where the notes fall in, seeing how the music is flowing, and it aids in the development of your vocal ability. That's why a lot of church people could rail sing. And I know that Tobago, I know this for a fact, I know that Tobago has some of the best singers in the world. And they will be on show Thursday night along with myself. And I'm super excited about being able to share the stage with some of Tobago's finest and Trinidad's finest in gospel music. Mr. Isaac, and as we anticipate your performance, what can we expect to um, receive from your performance? Um, what songs, the songs that you like to perform personally, what can we expect to um, see from your performance, Mr. Isaac? Well, Brother Luke, I'm a church boy and um, grew up in church, still in church, still loving going to church, still loving Jesus. So for me, you're going to get some of the 
new stuff some brand new now this is the first time i'm saying this some brand new music we're gonna give you all a sneak peek so you have to come down to show park to hear some brand new music and of course some of the songs that you know and love mercy's cardon validate and we're gonna mix in a bit we're gonna take the gospel fest we're gonna take tobago jazz festival to church on thursday night it's a wonderful it's a wonderful set that we have planned and i plan to take tobago jazz festival gospel night we're taking them to church a little bit and then we're going and spice it up and bring our own caribbeanness in the music and show the tobago festival the tobago jazz festival community that this is gospel music I appreciate that, Mr. Isaac. Of course, one thing that makes a concert a concert is when that artist decides to just take those participants to church. And I know it's a bit early, you know, it's 7.52 a.m. I'm not sure if I drank a bush she has yet. But, you know, I have to ask you, <laughs> can you give us one line, one line of one of your popular or favorite songs that we probably will get in full the night of the jazz? Sure, sure, sure. sure. So this is my favorite song. Mercy's at Cardon, favorite Cardon. Blessings it can on over me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very, very much, Mr. Isaac, for joining us here this morning on the Youth Thank Morning Show. Thank you for Show. having me. Yes, and we anticipate your performance at the Tobago Jazz Festival. So we, we really look forward to see how and when you will take us to church, Mr. Isaac. Enjoy the rest of your morning. Thank you for having me. Blessings to everyone. See you guys tomorrow night, Gospel Night. See you there. <laughs> All right, viewers, that was Mr. Mark Isaac, um, award-winning gospel artist. So we look forward to his performance and we hope to see you all there. At this moment, we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. So remember to share the live, share the live, share the live. <laughs> 